Uh, I'm standing for Parliament for two reasons, really. Um, one, I didn't really like the way that the last government left our country. And, and two, I think career, career politicians are in danger of doing our democracy a disservice. I'd say, I'd say compare where we were in 2010 with the last government with where we are now. Um, the wheels have fallen off our economy and uh, look at how far we've come. Uh, there's been a jobs miracle in this country. We've created more jobs than the rest of Europe put together. My contract with Exeter says that I'll give you a straight answer to a straight question. There's nothing more frustrating than politicians avoiding answering questions. And we get lots of questions come in on a day-to-day -day basis and we have a voluntary team. We don't have a, a, a member of parliament's office budget or pay for staff. We have volunteers coming in and researching the answers to your questions. And I think at peak last week, we sent 200 email responses to constituent uh, inquiries and it's a huge it's a huge part of our workplace but it's something we take quite seriously um, because we want to be accessible we want to be straight talking and answer your questions all right uh, guys welcome good morning uh, 48 days to go until may the 7th uh, in terms of headlines for today uh, it's obviously debate night tonight so today's debate day uh, we've been preparing for this for some time now uh, we've got a whole team around us of volunteers who have been doing bits and pieces of research, thinking about the campaign, uh, looking at our manifesto and looking at uh, where we started as a government in 2010 and, and where we're going. The candidate for the Conservative Party, Don Morris. Um, you know, part of being a candidate is about raising your profile as a person and telling people what you are. I'm extraordinarily proud of being a Conservative, extraordinarily proud of the radical um, changes that we've made as a government to lift people out of poverty and lift people out of the welfare state. In fact, it's what makes me a Conservative. My background, I'm a farmer's son um, and uh, grew up and went to the Air Force and everything about my background should have made me a Conservative, but I wasn't. Uh, it was when I got ill, when I moved home, when I had no reason to get out of bed in the morning um, and the way I dealt with my illness was going and working for the Prince's Trust and dealing with other young people that needed a hand up. And I saw what the welfare state was doing to young people. It's basically saying, you know, here's your dole money for a week, don't come back and bother us, don't get back into work, don't get a job. And I just thought, that's rubbish. And it made me a conservative in a way that I never thought was going to happen. It's a two-sided coin, isn't it? I'm, uh, another reason I'm running for parliament is because I uh, was pretty disillusioned uh, with career politicians. And for me, the moment came in Helmand when I realised that uh, career politicians under the last Labour government marched our armies into Helmand um, with no idea about history. I'm standing here largely because I didn't really like the fact we went into Afghanistan. I didn't like the way that we went into Afghanistan. And I didn't like the fact that career politicians that have no idea what intervention looks like overseas start voting on things they don't understand. Um, so I think on the politician side, I think across the parties, there is a lot more work to do to get more doctors, more nurses, more businessmen and women into Parliament because Parliament doesn't feel that accessible to me. Uh, we're here today in the forum with one specific uh, objective and that's to get more of you students voting in the general election on May the 7th. Last time only 44% of you voted in your general election and I think very simply that there are so many students in Exeter you make such a contribution to our city that you really should have your say on who will be your Member of Parliament on May the 7th for Exeter. My campaign is about real people for Parliament. I think career politicians have done our, our democracy a disservice and a Westminster West Country disconnect isn't helping us. And so my contract for Exeter is about more real people in Parliament and what it means specifically is I will put this city first above um, tribal politics and above myself. Uh, I will be positive because I think negative politics is damaging our democracy. I think politics should be about where we want to go as a society. I'll be straight with you. Um, I won't talk in spin. If I don't know the answer, I'll tell you I don't know. I think people are disillusioned when politicians won't answer a question. Um, I will volunteer and contribute to my community and I will be available, which means turning up to events like this and being held to account by people like you. Uh, my name's Dom. I hope to earn your vote on May the 7th. Thanks for joining Direct Dom. Bye-bye.